No jail time, it's probation and community service only for the oldest teen who killed beloved Manlius Swan Fay late last May. He was in Manlius Village Court, the teen, but because he's been granted youthful offender status, we are not sharing his name or showing his face. News Channel Line's Kendra Brodus was in the courtroom for tonight's sentencing. Nobody waiting for the teen and his lawyer as the 18-year-old headed into the courtroom. Unlike their summer appearance, when an angry crowd gathered outside holding signs and cursing at the teen. A lengthy proceeding about an hour, with the judge questioning why the teen wasn't required to pay a fine for killing Faye. But prosecutors didn't ask for one. The teen's lawyer defending the young man, saying he's been cooperative and didn't understand what the swan meant to the community. A young man whose family fled genocide from Burma. Um, had no concept whatsoever of a swan that couldn't fly away, that this village obviously cares a lot about. Um, that furniture's not in, even in this young man's head. Manlius's mayor not happy with the outcome. He made it look like this was our problem and, and, cause, and we caused this, and that's not, that's not the case. If you don't know when you jump over a fence and kill a swan that it's a crime, then there's some wrong with you, especially at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. The mayor emphasized the village is doing everything it can to protect the swans. There's only so much we can do as a, as a village to try to, you know, get some type of resolve out of what happened. And we did the best we could. We fought it. I, and, you know, it is what it is. And, and so let's just hope that um, it doesn't happen again. And the four baby swans have been back at the Manlius Swan Pond since mid-July. And Manny is now living in Lancaster, Pennsylvania with a mate. Jeff, Christy, 